everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Anne with Sassy Beauty Budgets. Thank you all for taking your time out for another video. Before I get started, I'd like to thank my existing subscribers, my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I can't thank you guys for showing so much love to my channel. And like I said, I just can't thank you guys enough. I hope you all had a great Christmas. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys got everything that you wanted and let's get started so in today's video i am going to be going over my goals for uh 2024 okay let me zoom in a little bit and one of my goals for 2024 is to save 15 to twenty thousand dollars by december of 2024 um if you watch my previous videos um, anything is possible with saving challenges it's a way to make it fun and you're saving money and at the end of it all, it's like you're shocked and amazed on how much you have saved. So that is the goal. And hopefully I can achieve that by December of 2024. My next goal is to get 1K subscribers. Um, I really don't have a time frame for this. So sometime in 2024, I would like to reach 1K subscribers and also uh, 4,000 watch hours and to, you know, be monetized on YouTube. Next, um, how I plan on doing that is um, uploading more videos, um, whether it's game night, mystery scratch-offs, just a couple of ideas um, that I do have. Next is to do more on my Instagram. I do have an Instagram, but I don't post anything on there. I guess I'm too focused on YouTube which it's not a good idea because I don't have cross-platform um, followers. So I definitely want to do more on my um, Instagram. Next is to be credit card free by December of 2024 or sooner. So you guys know that I still we are still paying off our IKEA credit card, um, Best Buy. Um, so those are the credit cards that I want to... Um, pay off and then use them like our other credit cards where we use them and then we just pay the balance off um, at the end of each month. So that is definitely an important goal for us because when you do have a lot of credit card debt, by the time you're paying interest and everything else, that could be money going towards um, our saving goals, whether it's $20,000, whether it's towards our retirement or other things that we want to do. So being credit card uh, debt free for us is a very big thing. Number six is paying off my car and buying a new car or pre-owned. So that is a goal. Um, and of course, doing that, um, saving money and, you know, whatever else. Next um, is adding more money towards our mortgage. So we are at a point where we want to pay an extra one to $200 a month. So that can go towards the principal. And if I, I read an article, if you do that, you can take seven years off your mortgage by just making an extra payment of one to $200. So that is something that we want to start doing um, come January. Another one is um, currently we are one month ahead on um, our bills. So we want to do two to three months ahead of savings towards our bills. So that is important because if anything happens, we just wanna have um, the peace of mind and not having to use the money out of our savings. So um, two to three months ahead, this um, is really towards our bills, okay? So, and not to use our savings. I don't know why. I, so it's very confusing on how I wrote it. So um, we wanna be two to three months ahead on our bills and not having to use our savings, okay? Because our savings is building up very nicely and I am um, pretty happy um, about that. 
Next, uh, Christmas savings. I need to save at least $2,000 by, I would say, November. Um, November and December 24th. So $2,000. Um, I did save $1,000 for Christmas, and I have to be honest with you guys, it wasn't enough. So I did use, um, you know, our credit cards on some purchases, and obviously that has to be paid off. So um, I figured, you know, 2000 or it could be more, just to be comfortable, um, I would be happy with that number. And number 10 is to cut areas of spending. So how I plan on doing that, ever since I started this budgeting community, I just love to buy all the budgeting things, which is great. But how I plan on cutting back on spending as far as Etsy is I am going to get a gift card, maybe for um, $200, and then hopefully that should be good enough for the next um, three to four months. And then once that is all used up, I will then reevaluate if I really need something. And then also areas for me to cut back on spending. Um, I'm one of those. And you know, if it's a wedding or somewhere that we have to go, it's like, oh, I need a new outfit. You know, because like you're taking pictures or you wore that. So I need to get out of that mindset. I need to revamp things. And just because I'm going somewhere doesn't necessarily mean I have to automatically go out and, you know, buy um, an outfit. And uh, another area that I need to work on is selling stuff that I am not using in my closet, whether it's handbags clothes, shoes, someone can use it. I need to be better at purging my closet, okay? My husband says my closet is his worst nightmare because it's a walk-in closet and it is, it's full. I got all the bags lined up, all the jeans folded, sweaters, and I just need to, you know, purge it out. So these are my goals and hopefully um, by the end of 20. 24 of December, we can sit back and then highlight um, as these goals happen um, either before or at the end of the year, okay? So let me just move this out of the way. And what saving challenges am I repeating? Okay, so let me, all right, so my 100 envelope challenge, I am definitely going to be doing this. This was such a rewarding challenge to do and I absolutely love it. Um, <clears throat> so I may round up, um, but I think I will start with the higher numbers. If you guys know, towards the end, I was kind of like stressing a little bit. It's great to have great momentum at the beginning, but then the high numbers are at the busy time, which is you know October, November, and December. So I plan on um, starting with the higher numbers, and then from like any of the odd numbers, so like one, three, five, I may just round up. I don't really know how much I'm going to round up, just so I can get more than $5,050. And this was from Hawaii Mom Budgets. I got this maybe two, three years ago. I'm not sure if she is still on Etsy, but I am definitely doing this again. Next, I am definitely doing my 52 week challenge and how I plan on doing that. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, I don't have a challenge per se, but I just took a budget sheet and I want to, um, start saving $4 every week, okay? So if I save $4 every week for 52 weeks, I should have $5,512, okay? Let me zoom back out. 
So that would be a great goal, okay? And then for my 26 week challenge, I'm going to um, times it by three. And I did not finish um, this back here, but I think it should be maybe 14 or $1,500 saved. And then if I go over um, the 26 week challenge, like I did um, for 2023, um, depending on how the budget goes, so I can possibly go beyond the 26 weeks. And as I, you know, deposit the money, I will put in DEP here just so I can keep track or I may just highlight as I go along. Okay, so $5 savings challenge. Um, I'm definitely doing this again. I just have to use the magic eraser and do that. Definitely doing this again. Definitely going to restart this. And this, of course, I'm going to do that. This challenge I have not completed in the past two years that I have done it. Um, so I will order this again through Etsy. I don't remember the shop, but I will get another one. And I definitely want to try to um, do that savings challenge. Okay. Next is this savings challenge that I got from Jasmine's wallet. And I think it should save $2,000. So I definitely want to, you know, do that. And it is a yearly, um, so it's 12 months. So it's from January to December. So definitely going to do that. And of course, I am doing my 1000 savings challenge with Princess Budgets. Love this challenge. So I am definitely going to do this again. And then this also comes with some extra bonus slots here. So I will definitely be incorporating this again because some of the challenges that have worked time and time again for me I'm just going to continue them. And then I also am going to be doing this other monthly challenge. Okay, and I will leave the um, shops below. Okay, and this is also from January to December. And I also have some printables. I have some from Cute Budgets. I have some um, from Frugality is Life. Fiona, her shop is amazing. Please guys support her. I think she's very close to 1K subscribers. And uh, my savings challenges, this is from Syndicat. There are some challenges in here that I will be completing probably um, early February. Hopefully I can complete this, okay? Next. is Magically Mini. Um, I did not complete the booklet completely. So Magically Mini. So I think I only have a couple more pages left. I have this page here to be completed and this page here, okay? So hopefully this will be completed um, January, February time frame. Okay, Jar of Hearts is from this easy mini cash budget 1000 or less savings challenge planner. So I plan on doing some more challenges out of this booklet. It's a shame to waste this, but Jar of Hearts, um, Hopefully I can complete this, you know, February, March timeframe. I don't want to over um, extend myself. And then, so there's a lot of trackers in here that I plan on completing. Not really sure which ones. Okay. And then 
And then here on my tracker, I just wrote how much is in the challenge so far. Okay, and then for December, I owe this $100. And then once that is, um, once I stuff this, I will take this out. Um, let's see. And budget by, budget with me, Mia. Um, mini savings book, love this. So I will definitely continue this challenge and I just have some placeholders back here. Okay, so definitely continue these challenges. All right. Next is rainy day. I don't know why I did not unstuff this, but I will be restarting this in January. So again, I will be using my magic eraser to erase this. $1 savings challenge will definitely do that. And $2 savings challenge will definitely continue that because we know that every little bit counts. And so this was from rainy day. So I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 90, 100, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. So 146 in rainy day. I'm just going to put this to the side. And so I'm definitely going to um, incorporate these challenges. And my mini saving challenges, I'm thinking about maybe unstuffing and starting fresh for the new year because I did not um, start this in the beginning of the year. So I may do a unstuffing um yeah maybe i should and just start new so how much do i have in here i have 20 30 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 that's not bad. So I think when I do my um, last cash stuffing for December, I may empty this out and then um, just start new for the new year. But I will definitely be incorporating these challenges. And then of course, some of the challenges that I've gotten course uno we're definitely going to start that because i love to play uno very competitive of course i got this is um artwork by kevin this was something that i got from etsy and i plan on incorporating this a lot of challenges guys but that is the way of me um reaching my um goals for 2024 and this little baby here, save, save, save. This is budget by numbers. And I plan on incorporating this also. <coughs> I still have this like lingering cough. <coughs> okay. And then my high priority binder. Okay, so everything in here, <coughs> excuse me. So there is a thousand dollars in here. So I will be taking this out, depositing it into the bank. Actually, I should just do that now. Yeah, I counted this before. So there is a thousand in here. So I will take this out and then I will replace it with a 1,000 placeholder debt 
definitely once this reaches 500 to go towards ikea unexpected definitely month ahead one of the goals is to um once this reaches a thousand again use a placeholder and then start again so i just want to keep saving um thousands at a time investment definitely want to continue investing electronics lighting or anything or that i may need birthdays we've been using our um, credit cards just to get the points but i may be cash stuffing this car insurance policy um, it's on auto and we just you know pay the policy out for six months but so technically i don't really need this envelope so i don't know holidays definitely keeping that amazon okay and then let's see everything in here car maintenance definitely vacation a must christmas i have the 12 days of christmas um, savings challenge booklet that I am definitely going to use because I need $2,000. So I will be incorporating some of those challenges, house savings, <coughs> excuse me, home projects. You own a home. There's always things to do. Oh my gosh. We are in the process of trying to redo our bathroom. So, um, we just have to get an estimate for that going out critical miscellaneous definitely beauty definitely scotty definitely us haven't really used it taxes and there are some just um extra envelopes and i have one more binder and Okay, and this one, anniversary, of course, um, date night, Sam's Club, events. Guys, this envelope has been a pain in my ass. Every time, th like, next stuffing, I at least have to start with $100 in here. There is always something, christening, wedding, birthdays, there's always something, events. Travel, definitely going to beef this up. HOA, yes. Toiletries, clothing, Kobe, home goods, and of course, giveaways, okay? And then there are some challenges back here that I did not use. I don't remember where I got this from, and kitchen the only thing that we may need to do in the kitchen is maybe redo the floors we can get away which is a great idea and just because because just because all right so i hope you guys enjoy this video and please leave me a comment and please like share and if you haven't already please subscribe and thank you guys so much and have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.